this is NJ, your host on this channel. So we have reached the point where we'll discuss another very major vertical of the fingerprints, which is the arch fingerprint. In the previous videos, we have already discussed the introduction of the fingerprints, what do they represent, and we have also discussed two major fingerprints, which was loop and the Vole. So before we will start our discussion on this fresh fingerprint, just a quick introduction, quick recap of all what we have studied on the fingerprints. So we have studied that when it comes to studying the fingerprints that come in the vertical of the dermatographics. Dermatographics is a Greek word which has been derived from two words, derma which means skin and gleptos which means engravings, the carvings. These uh, fingerprints remain constant throughout the life. They get formed by the fourth month in the womb and in case of any environmental disturbances, any disturbances to the fetal environment, not only the child remains vulnerable to the congenital diseases but also there remains to be high chances that the child will have abnormal fingerprints. When I say abnormality, we are going to discuss that in a separate video where I'll just tell you about how just by looking at the fingerprints we'll get to know that there are some kind of you know a vulnerability of some kind of abnormal tendencies and some kind of inherited problems uh, inherent in someone's personality we have also discussed that these fingerprints are very important as they you know kind of they act as a channel for the sweat gland they also facilitate the you know sense of touch and when it comes to their uh, significance the tri ready is a term is a parameter is a tool on which these fingerprints get judged that is the only tool which will help you distinguish between two let's say for example there's one loop and there is one vole so only because the loop carries uh, you know one tri ready and the vole carries is too dry ready that is the only distinguishing trait and tool otherwise you will just get confused by looking practically on people's palm on people's fingertips and this this dry ready is nothing it's just a you know kind of a triangular pattern which gets formed by the intersecting ridge patterns on the skin so we have discussed that you it is also very important that you know these uh, uh, fingerprints you should study uh, it on both the hands on the active hand and the passive hand because it will tell you about how an individual a approach towards the concern and interest of particular finger of a particular mount and you know of a particular associated planet so uh, index finger would tell you that you are uh, you know uh, you have got good goals set in your life you are ambitious you have a you know desire to rise to the uh, position of power of authority but what kind of leader you would become same goes with the you know uh, the middle finger you are a philosopher you know you are a scholar but what kind of scholar you are and uh, also as we know that when it comes to the middle finger it just makes you very much vulnerable towards melancholiness, depression if afflicted. So in that case, if you want to get to the core of someone's personality, you have to study the fingerprints. So we have discussed all of that in the introductory video and we have also discussed loop fingerprint pattern which in short just represents someone being team player, someone being adaptable. You know, as per the Chinese uh, way of defining things that they define the different kind of consciousness on two, uh, two levels, yin and yang. Yin represents intuitiveness, you know, feminine. Yang represents masculine outgoing assertive so a loop symbol which represents too much of the adaptability and a too much of you know concern for others can be seen as a yin fingerprint and when it comes to the vol vol which vol which represents individuality self expression vol can be seen as a yang so we have discussed all that in the past videos and we have also discussed the subcategories of the loop where loop has got you know can be categorized into ulnar loop radial loop as well as the composite loop, as well as the peacock's eye combination. And when it comes to vol, it's very simple. They are just two combination. One is concentric and another is spiral. So all that we have discussed in the past video. Now we'll start our discussion on another uh, major pillar of the fingerprints, which is also seen in people's hand, which is an arch fingerprint. So when it comes to arch fingerprint, the chief, the attributes are uh, which define arch fingerprints are that these people would remain to be very practical, these people would remain to be very reliable and they remain to be very grounded. You know, when it comes to loop, loop will make you a team player. You know, you might become so kind of concerned for the pain of others that you sh you might even relinquish, even abandon your own needs and own, own, own wishes, own good. When it comes to wall, that person becomes so individualistic, that person might even kind of, you know, become very selfish, become very self-centered for his own good. But when it comes to the arch this is the fingerprint this is a type of personality which remains very practical which remains very kind of uh, very uh, very uh, you know kind of very equal and very generous towards the terms setting the terms they are hard working they are practical they never go you know in excess in terms of helping others or no, nor do they go in excess for their own self
self gain they remain very balanced very hard working very reliable and very practical so when it comes to you know defining these arch fingerprint patterns uh, so they are even two categories here as well but in this case of you know arch they got very uh, extremely distinguishing personality traits so we'll take that one by one first is the simple arch so the first thing which you have to uh, like the tool to distinguish it is that the simple arch pattern doesn't carry a tri ready so if you have spotted a tri ready then you might not be seeing an arch that might be a loop or that might be a wall so how this gets seen so this arch simple arch pattern is like very simple you'll find it on the you know little bit on the bottom of the flange of top flange so this is our finger tip this is our finger tip this is the top flange so you'll find it something like this there would remain to be a horizontal ridge patterns with slight bump little bit upward towards this so this can be this can be seen as a uh, an arch type so there were horizontal ridge patterns a slight bump here a slight bump over here so this is an arch fingerprint pattern so when it comes to you know these uh, people they can be defined in simple three words first is you know practicality second is you know these people remain to be very uh, earthiness would remain to be inherent and infused in their personality i am going to define earthiness what do i mean by that a third remains to be you know old fashioned simplicity so you know this kind of fingerprint pattern the simple arch generally gets seen in either the index finger or on the middle finger and these people you know among those people who just remain very defined to a modern society they do not believe much in the abstract thoughts or theories they just believe in practically doing things so a might be a person with a simple arch you will find them like the way i said ardhiness so ardhi ardhiness means my pronunciation is just so i just wanted to say with this that you know all those people you will find that they are still stick to their old thoughts old beliefs even they might be rich but they have their hobbies of you know all those things doing things from their hand even they are cooking their food from their hand no matter how you know rich they are they can even afford a cook you know doing gardening so they and even sometimes you'll find these people coming across and you know feeling so proud that i do not you know get swayed by the all the modern technology and equipments i'm still grounded with my old vintage car i do gardening i do all those things you know from my hands so these remain to be the arch type qualities of the arch print pattern type people so and specifically especially like the way i said if you will find it in an index finger so even the person's goal and ambition would remain to be very practical he might not you know become too over enthus uh, you know too over ambitious like someone of wool kind of pattern or in you know, a too uh, humanitarian that that is even costing in their own uh, success like a loop pattern they remain to be very practical so a uh, uh, arch print pattern on an index finger would make someone very practical uh, we give him very practical capabilities and let's say for example if you have found this on a middle finger so then that person would you know beat gardening beat cooking be you know uh, having interest in all the ancient uh, ancient things collecting stamps so person would remain to be you know um, driven and inclined towards all those hobbies all those old fashioned things so this is with the arch kind of uh, print pattern and you know like the way i have, uh, i know how much you people now remember like at the time when i was you know explaining you people how to classify the hand uh, uh, you know uh, classify the hand or categorize the hand basis different elements our hand can also be classified into different categories ba uh, based on different elements like earth air fire water you know whenever it comes to doing a consultation the first thing which you need to do is you need to first check what is the type of the hand which is going to just tell you about inherent personality traits the kirognomy because you know earth hand will give you very first impression very strong impression that the person is very practical hard working air element will give you an uh, impression if the hand is of air type that the person is very intellectual same goes with the fire hand person is very assertive very go getter has got good leadership qualities and when the hand is of water type the person is very imaginative intuitive the person can be you know do very good in any artistic and creative uh, occupation in a, a creative and artistic field so when it comes to uh, dividing the hand why i'm saying this thing is because arch fingerprint pattern is generally simple arch pattern is generally seen in the hands of the people 
whose hand is of earth type so when it comes to the types bases elements that gets distinguished and judged on the basis of two things the sh shape of your palm and the length of your fingers so the eligibility for a hand to be called of earth type is that the palm would remain to be of square in shape equal uh, broadness and equal length palm would remain to be square in shape and the fingers would remain to be short in length so that is an typical earth hand and when i say short in uh, short fingers it has nothing to do with the overall structure of the hand or overall height of the person you have to measure it from the broadness of the palm so let's say for example if the broadness of the palm is 4 cm and length of the middle finger is 3 cm 3 cm then you can just say that this person has got short fingers so a you know square palm short fingers is an earth type hand and it, it has generally be seen that the simple arch uh, print pattern if found in majority of the fingers that uh, the hand would remain to be of earth type it is generally seen in the hands of the earth type of people now comes the another category of the arch which is the tented arch this is entirely different from the simple arch in simple arch i already explained it gets defined on three uh, verticals three you know, uh, three main attributes and features of simple arch are practicality old fashioned simplicity and earthiness when it comes to the tented arch the first thing is that there is a distinguishing quality first of all this sign uh, this kind of print pattern is not found in majority of the hands it's a kind of rare kind of uh, print pattern second is you will find it something like this a kind of tent pole kind of formation you will find it to be something like this and the main thing is that the tririty would remain present here so that this triangular pattern which i am repeatedly saying you will find it over here on the center so this is the tririty which i am talking about and you should not get confused with this combination with the loop in loop the uh, tririty gets spotted on the sides either side it could be on the left it could be on the right but when it comes to uh, and ta uh, the tented arch you'll find it on the middle something like this you'll find it in the middle and you'll find this combination could be to be like a tent pole to be right uh, you know risen like this this might even look like a inverted t so this is a, a, a typical the tented arch kind of pattern when it comes to the traits it uh, they also vary as compared to the simple arch these people remain to be you know the best part is in whichsoever uh, uh, finger fingertip you have found this kind of pattern so first of all the person will have special talents related to that particular finger finger so let's say for example you have found the tented arch on the index finger so person might remain to be very spiritual person might have good leadership skills if you have found this on the little finger little fingertip then there might be case that the person has got good uh, writing skills good communication abilities good business acumen so the first thing is that the that finger gets the spotlight in whichever finger the tented arch pattern has been found that's the one thing second thing is the person you know remain very enthusiastic about the concerns of that that finger so you know you might even come across all those people you know those typical cases if for example if this this is person a who knows uh, you know um, who knows and believes in a uh, homeopathy or let's say uh, uh, ayurveda so no matter what the problem other person is going through he will have solution in his uh, chosen belief the belief in which he believes so they remain not only kind of very enthusiastic about a particular con concern which they believe in but they also recommend that you know they kind of become a, a re reformer related to that particular field so no matter what the problem the person is giving but whatever this tented arch uh, uh, print pattern person believes in he would just try to uh, spread the solution in his uh, uh, you know believe thing only so the first thing is they remain to be very enthusiastic and they become kind of reformer in whatsoever belief they have you know whatsoever thing they have strong belief that's one way second is these people also remain to be highly creative you know when it comes to the tented arch print pattern let's say for example if the other features of the hand is indicating towards good artistic talents and over and above that you have found the tented arch print pattern so it is a good indication that the person has got good creative abilities this is what the tented arch pattern represents and one more thing this also represents little bit of you know kind of very highly strung or nervous kind of nature as well the typical case of all those creative people who have who are like very sensitive but very receptive towards the creativity and new thoughts so this is what with the tented arch pattern i'll just give a quick recap simple arch you will not find any 
kind of tri ready in the case of the tented arch you will find this kind of you know tent pole kind of formation with a tri ready present in the middle this just represents person being very enthusiastic person being you know highly strong highly creative as well as in whichsoever finger this print pattern tented arch is found person has got special talents and abilities related to that particular finger that particular mount that particular planet so i hope i made myself very clear in this video for further more updates and notification on palmistry please subscribe my channel i like my facebook page thanks